Hi! Hi folks! Well, it seems like that country west of the Sea of Japan, South Korea, on the Korean Peninsula, they're infested with a group known as, as I like to call them, the Comfort Woman Mafia, with the goal of bashing Japan all around these here United States of America, throughout South Korea, and other parts of the world. And their favorite method of bashing Japan is this placing this hunk of junk statue dedicated to the memory of Comfort Woman. They also have a branch office in these here United States of America. And they've been successful in this country in placing this hunk of junk in Glendale, California. All right, California, you happy? And in <laughs> Brookhaven, Georgia. Now recently, in another California city, the city of San Francisco, they had one place in public property approved by the city council. The uniqueness of this one is San Francisco enjoys a sister, a sister city relationship with the city of Osaka in Japan. So the mayor of Osaka, the samurai that he is, he defends the honor of the nation, the people, the culture and history of Nihon of Japan. And he said, in essence, you put the statue, we'll rescind the sister city relationship. We'll be protecting the honor of Japan. If you're going to bash Japan, such as in Brookhaven, and Glendale, and San Francisco, you will not enjoy your sister city relationship with Osaka. And God bless him for doing that. There's another city outside of Osaka that has a sister city relationship with Glendale, California. They were asked to rescind the sister city relationship, that city in uh, Japan. He said, no, we're not going to do that. No, we don't want to get involved. In other words, what they're doing is by not rescinding the sister city relationship is, you yeah, saying to Glendale, it's okay to bash Japan. Go right ahead, no problem. When you allow them to maintain the sister city relationship, you in essence condoning the bashing of Japan. I don't care what else you, how else you label it, you're condoning it because you're not issuing disapproval of what they've done. Oh, you write a letter. I don't like what you did, but we're going to keep the sister city relationship. Hopefully they change their mind. They won't change their mind because this couple woman mafia is very strong in Glendale, very strong in San Francisco. We send the sister, sister city relationship as the mayor of Osaka, the brave man that he is defending the honor of a nation. Now let's go back. Oh wait, to go back to the statue again in San Francisco. Look at this photograph here, see? Now look at the people grabbing hold of the statue. As if they're still going to get something spiritual from that statue. <laughs> a spiritual awakening by touching that statue. To which I have to say, really? Hotani? Or as we say in Japan, Majikayo! I sat next to this similar hunk of junk in Glendale, California. There was no spiritual. <laughs> I didn't even touch it, but maybe that's why. I didn't even touch the statue. No spiritual awakening for me, but I did get something out of it. I certainly did. Over 2,000 hateful messages from people, students in South Korea. Close to 500 death threats from Koreans in these area United States of America and in South Korea. See, I did get something. Nothing spiritual, but I did get something. And go back to the Korean Peninsula in South Korea. It's a democracy, so they say. That's rather questionable. This professor here, South Korean, she wrote a book, Comfort Woman of the Empire. And in this book, she doesn't promote the popular narrative on the comfort woman issue. She offers, in some respects, the alternative view. And because of that, she was dragged into court and she had to pay a fine of over $8,000. But wait a minute. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, you should be able to write a book with an alternative view, you would think. She dishonored the comfort woman so that it was said that's why she had to pay. Huh? Freedom of speech? You go to dishonor somebody, hurt somebody. Let me tell you something. 
If you have a country that claims to be a democracy but has no freedom of speech, then you do not have that democracy. The foundation of all democracy is what? Freedom of speech. That's the foundation. Remove it, and your democracy crumbles. But the people of South Korea are happy with that. God bless them. So just, you have want to be democracy and make believe one. That's what you want, so be it. Hi, folks. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation. You happen to be. God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Neon Koku, Japan. And may God continue to be with the mayor of Osaka for defending the honor and integrity of a nation. Nihon Goku. See ya.